Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Oh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <coughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. I was joking. But look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. I say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So I too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Arrived the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Get up! So, what's your plan here? Figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. 
Mr. Bowler. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullet. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. <laughs> have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Maybe ease off the throttle there, sir. Descend a little. There isn't enough wind at this height. Yeah, it looks like we're moving again. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? from miles now. Arthur and Arturo, how perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions discussion. Well, just say the word. Whoa, there. No need to go any higher. you interested in the pursuit of aviation? Uh, I didn't, exactly. Uh, 
Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise you. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. Okay, we're getting a little high now. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Admiral. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. <coughs> you look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? That's not him. All right, let's try one of the other fields. That ain't John. Okay, he ain't by the barn. I can't believe we're doing this. Looks like it. It's hard to tell, though. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Didn't I tell you this would happen? Absolutely insane. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us ah! back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Alright, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. 